It's a restaurant chain that's closed on Sundays, gives away toys, and has lines out the door. How did a pressure-fried chicken sandwich create one of the most successful fast food empires in America? This is the story of Chick-fil-A's origins. From a tiny Atlanta diner to a chicken giant. How a family-owned business with small-town values used operational excellence and fanatical customer service to dominate their industry. Grab your waffle fries and join us as we uncover the savvy strategies and smart innovations that made Chick-fil-A an American fast food icon. It all started in 1946 when Samuel Truett Cathy opened a small diner called the Dwarf Grill in Hapeville, Georgia, a humble suburb of Atlanta, along with his brother Ben. At the time, it was just a tiny diner serving standard American fare. Nearly 20 years later, in that very same diner, Cathy developed an innovative new recipe, a breaded and seasoned chicken fillet, pressure cooked and served on a buttered toasted bun with two pickles. Kathy tested the sandwich at his Dwarf Grill, where it immediately became a customer favorite. He then set his sights on broader distribution, making deals with other local restaurants to feature his unique chicken sandwich. It sold especially well at Atlanta-based Waffle House locations, but eventually the sandwich's runaway popularity led Waffle House to end the partnership, as it was outselling their own menu items. Sensing the enormous potential, Kathy began laying the groundwork for his own fast food restaurant based around his distinctive chicken sandwich. He recognized that the cooking time perfectly matched that of a hamburger in a pressure fryer, making speedy service possible. In 1967, after years of perfecting the recipe, Kathy opened the very first Chick-fil-A in Atlanta's Greenbrier Mall. The name Chick-fil-A cleverly conveyed the product a chicken fillet sandwich with the capital A, adding emphasis on its premium quality. In the 1970s and 1980s, Chick-fil-A gradually expanded by opening mall food court outlets across the Southeast. The chain kept the menu small and simple, focusing entirely on chicken sandwiches and nuggets along with signature waffle fries. Kathy's fanatical emphasis on customer service also set Chick-fil-A apart. He insisted that employees treat every single customer with the utmost care and respect, as if serving the President of the United States. After two decades of steady growth inside mall food courts, Chick-fil-A was ready to expand into standalone locations. In April 1986, Chick-fil-A opened its inaugural freestanding restaurant in Atlanta, Georgia. The new prototype allowed for higher sales volumes, more menu options, and convenient drive through service. Customers responded enthusiastically, drawn to the trademark tasty chicken sandwiches and warm hospitality. The success of this first standalone location paved the way for accelerated expansion. Over the next decade, hundreds more standalone Chick-fil-A restaurants opened across the southern states. With additional space and capacity, the standalone locations could offer an expanded menu. Unique menu items were introduced like the char-grilled chicken club sandwich and Chick-fil-A's famous waffle potato fries. The drive through format proved extremely popular as well, letting customers grab food on the go. Chick-fil-A's trademark speedy and friendly service translated perfectly to the drive through environment. This innovative new restaurant format was a breakthrough for the chain. No longer confined to mall food courts, Chick-fil-A could now open in higher traffic areas and bring in more customers. The recipe for success, tasty food, joyful service, operational excellence, continued fueling rapid growth for years to come. Chick-fil-A has remained privately owned to uphold its values, charitable focus, and operational standards. As a devout Southern Baptist, Kathy donated a portion of profits to charitable groups aligned with his faith. However, donations to organizations opposing same-sex marriage have been controversial. Despite some controversies, Chick-fil-A continues thriving. With its upbeat My Pleasure service, operational excellence and focus on quality, Chick-fil-A boasts industry-leading sales per restaurant and dominates customer satisfaction surveys. The chain has expanded to every region of the country, with over 2,600 locations. 
opening a new franchise remains highly competitive, with only about 1% of applicants accepted each year. But by staying true to Kathy's original vision over decades, Chick-fil-A has become one of America's most beloved and successful fast food chains. And that's the incredible origin story of Chick-fil-A, from a small Atlanta diner to a fast food juggernaut. Who knew a simple pressure-fried chicken sandwich would set the stage for decades of success? It just goes to show how you can build an iconic brand with creativity, operational excellence, and a customer-centric culture. Chick-fil-A's journey of innovation started small, but ultimately changed the game. So next time you're craving those hot, perfectly breaded chicken sandwiches and signature waffle fries, remember the humble roots and smart strategies that made Chick-fil-A a nationwide hit. Let us know in the comments what your favorite thing is on the Chick-fil-A menu. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the bell to join us for more tasty stories behind your favorite food brands. As always, thank you for watching.